Do you remember Blood Gulch? Let's go back to you, Blood Gulch. I'm gonna you want to hear the most like? You want to hear the most like pure moment of X that I've ever experienced on Xbox Live? Mm. What? I was playing like Halo Reach multiplayer one day, and like there, we found out that in the in the call in the uh, not in the call in the in in the game there was a little sick. This one player was a six year old girl. Oh my god! And and everybody in the in the in the game just acted really nice and polite to her, and just it was it was really sweet. That's Aww. great. Uh huh. Yeah. It, no, I remember uh, Bungie Day. I had a famous, not not famous. I had one of the uh, encounters with the famous uh, squeaker ep epidemic. Um, and I remember it was like a team of them, and me and another guy. We, he was just a rando oh. uh, that I met up on, with on Xbox Live. The way, and I, we were all laughing our ass off on our team because you can hear them if you're near them, kind of thing. And this little kid picks up a rocket launcher. Fails to kill me with it, and I killed him with the assault rifle and like a like dead ass like straight on fight. Yes, I love that version of him the most. Ouroboros oh, is great. Cool. Um, yeah. So anyway, he tries to kill me with rockets, blows the both rockets, failing to kill me despite being reasonably like moderately Ow, close range. Fucker! <laughs> killed him with the AR without a melee. He accuses me of hacking immediately. <laughs> But in, like, the most, like, little kid kind of way ever. You're hacking! Ow! Shit, Because I had rockets and he still managed to kill me. Watch out, he might be hacking. He's hacking. Yeah, and then he's mm -hmm. like, Nah, man, the only difference between you and him is that his balls dropped. Ow. He said that out loud in the server. It was great. I oh love that God. teammate. Uh, I can't remember. I was play. I was. Pl I think it was uh Black Ops Two, and this kid was like, uh, was like, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll beat the fuck out you. And this dude just went, oh really? You gonna beat the fuck out of me? And he just blurted out his whole address. It was like, come on, motherfucker, let's go. Yeah, some. I will wait for dumb. you outside. And the kid was like, oh well, uh, I gotta go, gotta go talk to my mom. And he, I gotta go talk to my mom. And like he was like, but but where you live? What city you live in? And he's like, dude, I just told you, I live, I live in, I, and like listed off his city and address. And the dude was like, dude, I live right up the street from there. I gotta go check on my mom. I think she went out to get the mail. And the dude was like, your mom went out to get the mail at 9 p.m. Oh, and the guy shit. was like, the kid just like was like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, I loved, I loved the Call of Duty community. Speaking of Call of Duty, you remember when Allie was a thing? He still yeah, what kind of is. Him? What happened to is him, he? though? He became a meme, I remember that. He became a meme for a while, and then it kind of died off. Hang on, let me check out, Let me check my, my YouTubes. Allie A. <gasps> yep, he just... Back. He just posted a video... Uh, four hours ago. Hmm. Hmm. What's up, everyone? It's Allie. Yeah, he's, oh, he God. posted something about mo world's the most hell? viewed YouTube shorts. Did you guys hear that? Hmm? Or what? There was a bang outside. No. I didn't hear it. Um, you are near the Ed you are near the Edwards Air Force Base. Did they test the supersonic plane? Probably. Yeah, uh, when I lived with Goldie, um, I would look up in the sky and I would see some pretty impressive military aircraft flying around, including some fighter jets and perhaps the most interesting, I saw a B-2 Spirit Bomber at one point. Oh, wow. That's... That was Ooh, cool. Boy. No, that was incredible. That thing was... That thing was cool looking. The flying V that ruins weddings. E. And Here schools. We just call them Canadian geese. What's the difference between a, <laughs> What's the difference between a enemy an enemy insurgent base and a school? I don't know. No, I just, no, no, no. I'm just imagining just Dusk looking at a B2. Is this a goose? Is, is, is this goose? Hang on. Dusk. Whatever. I mean either way, peace was never an option. 
Deep's Peace was never an option. <laughs> you see, so I finally did find a video of someone doing what I recommend people do when you encounter a goose. Grab uh -huh. its neck. I mean, yes, but... I finally I'm... saw that. No, so no, I finally... I finally saw that, and the, it just, like, immediately submitted, because it has the snake problem. Well, actually, it has the worst than the snake problem. So it if depends you... which type of goose. Was it Canadian goose? It was the mean one. Th was it the Canadian goose? They're I'm all saying, mean. I... No, I'm saying which, whichever one was the aggressive one, because that's kind of what made it a meme. Fair. Isn't, isn't... I think I've heard somewhere that Canadian geese are what Canadians put all their anger and hate yes. into. Yes. We started putting it into Justin Bieber, but he escaped. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll put it like this. Um, essentially, this person grabbed it, and that thing submitted immediately after, uh, or at least, I think it tried to fight, but then the woman who grabbed it, like, shook it, like, vigorously, mm -hmm. and yeah, then it immediately capitulated. Yeah, that is technically what you're supposed to do, but they will also try and slap you with their wings, and that hurts. Oh, here's what you do for that. Swing it around like a potato sack until it stops moving. That, or if, a... if you're in America, you just whip out your 22 sporting pistol. 38 special snake shot. No, that's, no, that is kind of a thing, though. No, just get a 22. You whip out the 38 special snake shot and shoot it, which has, like, the... Has... The same amount of penetrating power as a fucking super soaker. Sorry, penetrating power? Well, I'll put it like what? this. Uh, to give you an idea of what he's talking about, um, we have things in the U.S. called snake guns, which, as you might imagine, are they're shells that are meant specifically to kill charging snakes. But, as you would imagine, they're essentially like shotgun shells, uh, in that they fire, they fire like a birdshot wow. style, because that spread will basically guarantee that you're going to hit it. And it's really lethal to a snake. I've um, been hit. I've been hit by six-year-olds with a sock and bopper with more popping power than a thirty-eight special. <laughs> I'm guessing that speaks a lot. It's a very weak type of ammo. It's a very weak type of round. It's a very weak type think? of armament. No, they've been getting pretty good, especially plus power. Oh yeah, they've been upgrading it, but the basic like thirty-eight special ah! snake shot is like the fact like it oh, became snake such shot. a that yeah. distinction is important because 38, 38 special is pretty good, but if you mean snake shot, that's different. Yeah, the thirty-eight the thirty-eight snake shot is like it's it you get hit with a super soaker and it's gonna have more penetration power Hold than on, a, than a thirty-eight snake shot. But now what you do, but here, here's what you should really do, Vlad. You should whip out something like um. Well, first off, you just get a twenty-two. It'll be useless on people, so you, most people get it just to shoot vermin off of their trash cans. Yep. It's But it's not rated to kill anything bigger than a dog. Like, it's lethality is up to dog. Up to dog. To dog. But, to anything dog-sized or smaller, that thing is going down. I so, remember... Amer Canadian anger meets American stress relief. Click, click. I remember seeing a dude in Johnstown when the geese were here. Like, he, like... I'll never forget it because it was a goose that was, like, near a building, and it charged him, and I guess this guy was, like, I couldn't tell if he was a junkie or just having a bad day, because he did what the woman in the video did, he grabbed it by the neck, and it started beating its wings, but he was close enough to a building that he whipped that motherfucker, like, he whipped it like it was a bag of groceries into the building and just threw it on the ground. Oh, that's, yeah, what no, I was that's exactly what I do. mean. See, that's what I mean, is that, like, yeah, the whip... But you're still gonna win that. Like, like he if you got flick its neck around enough, it's gonna click, click, break. He got and hit with its wing exactly once, and he fucking slammed that thing into the building and threw it to the ground. Yeah, I do understand that, but at the same time, I'd just run because then there's no animal cruelty laws that you break. Don't worry. Mind you, it is also goose. It is yes. a goose. But also, this would kill it quickly and elegantly. I wish also, to shoot then geese you get with my. Yes, you see, I wish to kill them with my shooting, with my artful pistol. No, seriously, wouldn't you look pretty awesome, and you're the hero of the park, if you're just popping geese with this gun? Yes. You it's look like thing. a Bond villain. Okay, Vlad, we must no roll up. Yeah, that's okay, We're in, but we're in America, so if we see a Canadian geese, we will introduce it to American Stress Relief. 
We can go to the. We can go to that point where New York and Canada meet, and if that motherfucker takes one step over the border. Wait, isn't that me Maine or something? There's no. also there's also a crossing spot in New York. Mm. There's there's several crossing spots. Um, on at least on that side of the U.S. Yep. Um, uh, it would be much Eastern. harder to be at your side of the U.S. Listen, Goose, I'm just saying, you take one step over this border, it's gonna be a wrap for you. I mean, we're gonna do Canada a large favor if you just take one step over here, fucker. Listen, I'm not saying that I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hurt an animal, I'm just saying that I just bought some fresh, some fresh ammo, I had this gun oiled up, I realigned the sights. By the way, I hope people know we're just fucking around, by the yes, way. Yes, we're not actually... Yeah. <laughs> we're not actually thinking of doing anything with animal cruelty. We're just being edgy right now. Wait, is that a thing, Zuckerman? Are Super Soakers banned in America? Wait! <gasps> you gotta be kidding no. me! No. Super Soakers aren't banned in America. I was gonna say, that wouldn't make any... That would that... be so stupid! Vlad, yeah. you, Vlad you have been psyoped. <laughs> oh That's god, I can what? hear... I've been I can hear... Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> What is Remember that? when, like, did you guys ever see that, like, back in the 80s, they had these water guns that look like actual guns? Yes. Yeah, those got banned did, because, um... Did a kid get shot with one of those? Yes, because, uh, to the policemen, it looked real to them. And some robbers like were also using it to their advantage to, uh, rob banks. Mm. It yeah. looks like right. a gun. That's is why they have to, that's, that's why they make, uh, kid toys kid-friendly and, um... Yeah, if you buy an airsoft pistol, if like a realistic one, it has to have the orange tip. Yeah, right. it has to yep. have the orange stopper. Well, that actually, well, I don't want to say it, it saved a kid's life, because it didn't, but that's why the cop got into trouble for it at one yeah. point. Because they didn't they shoot a kid who had one of those? Yeah. And they're like, oh, he had a gun, and it's like, yeah, but it had one of those orange thingies. Guess, yes, also, exactly. So guess, who man just a moron. guess who manufactured those? Mm -hmm. LJN. Who? Mm. Of course it was LJN. What's of LJN? Course. LJN yeah. is the uh, the company who's been notorious for bad game adaptations. Uh, but they actually got into a lot of trouble during the 80s when they made those uh, those realistic looking um, soaking guns. Yeah. Ah, they, they, yeah. They were known for making a lot of really shit NES games. Yeah. A lot of... A lot of... A lot of toys. Um, they made they made shit toys. Didn't they get bought out by Acclaim? Probably. I'm pretty sure no, they went bankrupt. No, I know that sure LGN. I know that their parent company was Acclaim from 1990 until like I think it was 1996, 1997. I have a weird amount of knowledge about stupid shit. <laughs> Uh, I don't like it. Fun of having stupid knowledge. <laughs> like I keep on looking at the news, and I'm like, when are jarts gonna come back? I want to have I want to have a jart set, not the not the kid friendly one. I want the actual jart set. Uh, hang on for a <laughs> sec. I want uh, some actual lawn darts. <laughs> yeah, like when you hear the they name, they do Al have lawn darts, just not. Um... Bro, I got a classic for you. Sixteen oh. second classic. Yep. Wait, sorry, hold on. Uh, Golden, what were you saying? No, I was saying, uh, yeah, no, you would probably know the name LGN a lot more if you've seen AVGN. Ah, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Hey, no Dusky. full auto in the building! Yeah, no, Dusky. What? Click on that video and wait at zero zero. Alright, hold on. I'm at zero zero. I am at zero zero. On. Um, is anyone else wondering? Sure, I'll do it. Okay. Same. Okay. Are you in? Oh, I think I know this yeah. one, yeah. I'm on. on go. Three, two, one, go. I love this one. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not Falato? No, this is. <laughs> oh, damn, bro. Hey. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm going to see what's no, like. I've seen footage of sure, like. No problem. Of like people going to airsoft clubs, but they see, but secretly they don't tell everyone else at the airsoft ah. meet that their team is full of like, is full of veterans for, who fought in like actual combat. So like, 
it'll and they do this with guys from all over the world like they did with like russian soldiers crashing an airsoft game without telling anyone that they were uh soldiers they did one with a couple of u.s soldiers uh in europe they had one with a swiss sniper really oh my god Jeez, and he, he used his actual sniper training too like he climbed into a tree with a rifle and got 122 Damn. kills in like 10 minutes God. Jesus Damn. Christ. He didn't get killed once. <laughs> well, That's I what mean, I love to diverse. see. That's what I love to see. It's just like, I, you kids are playing at war. No, yeah, no, they dominate everyone. Every time you bring, like, actual combat veterans in, they actually destroy, like, everyone. Oh, duh. You know what, what, yeah. No, you know what's funny about that? What? There, was, there was a there was a spin-off anime to uh, Sword Art Online called Gun, Gun Gale. Gale Online. Mm-hmm. And yeah. It, and it, and they had like actual soldiers who would play the game to train. Yeah, I remember that. My favorite thing to watch in those videos, for, like for the airsoft, is like, uh, like oh, knife fights, this is also and it's like, off. it's like a SWAT <laughs> officer or like a marine hand-to-hand specialist, Wait and then just second. watching some poor fucker go in for an overhead slash That's and get to thrown to the ground. Yeah. Then at the end, then at the end, it's like um. You, you have the soldiers, like, I think for the Russian ones, it was just, like, they win, and obviously they crushed everyone, it's like, Oh, fuck! By the way, I hope you enjoyed, we just came off duty. Oh, Jesus. No. Ah, welcome, get out and of we're like, welcome home from Syria. Yeah, I re- <laughs> the, I think it was a SWAT specialist that I, uh, one of the ones that I saw, and it was, like, the last couple minutes of the game that he got into, like, a knife fight with this, oh, like, teenager shit. who thought he was hot shit, and, like, the- the fight, quote unquote, lasted like five seconds. The kid took one slash, and he was like on the ground, staring up at the sky, just wide-eyed and bugging. He sees heaven's gates, <laughs> and the guy just kind of like walks over and goes, "I've seen a lot of people try that move; it never works," and just drags him to his feet. 